How to roast the perfect chicken. Hi, I'm Mark Murphy. I'm going to be showing you how to roast a chicken today. You will need a three to four pound chicken, four carrots peeled and cut into chunks, two large white onions peeled and cut into quarters, one head garlic peeled, a quarter pound of butter softened, some salt and pepper, a quarter cup of olive oil, a half a lemon cut in quarters, eight sprigs of thyme, a large roasting pan, a cutting board, a paring knife, and a three-foot piece of butcher's twine. Step one, heat your oven to 450 degrees. Step two, rinse the chicken. It's not really that necessary to, to rinse a chicken or a, any poultry, really. It's a good way to make sure that that plastic bag with the neck and all the stuff isn't in there, because when you cook it with that in there, it's not gonna taste very good, especially when the plastic bag melts. Step three, make a bed of vegetables. We're gonna cook the chicken just on a mirepoix vegetables, which is carrot, onion, celery, and a little bit of garlic. The reason we're doing that is the chicken's gonna be sitting on top of it, away from the actual bottom of the pan. So you're just gonna dump those right on there. We'll be just putting our chicken right on top of that. Don't dump the vegetables when you're done. Use them to make a nice sauce. Step four, stuff the chicken with seasoning. Open up the chicken and season the inside. Season with authority, as I always say. If you don't put the seasoning in now, it's too late once it's cooked. I'm just gonna shove a little bit of garlic in there, a sprig of thyme, and a lemon. It's gonna give the chicken a nice flavor while it's roasting. Step five, season beneath the skin. We wanna separate the skin a little bit. You see right here with the skin and the breast. And we're gonna shove in a little bit of butter and some thyme that we've picked. But what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it a lot more moist while it's cooking. Step six, Truss the chicken. Trussing a chicken not only makes it tidier, it cooks more evenly too. Step seven, season the chicken in the pan. We're gonna drizzle a little olive oil over it and salt and pepper. Step eight, put the chicken in the oven. We've got the oven on at about 450. If it starts getting a little too much color, you might wanna bring the temperature down a little bit. Step nine, remove the chicken. It's been about 45 minutes. Depends on the size of your chicken. This is about a three pound chicken. Step 10, check the chicken. To test to see if it's ready, you can take the leg and twist it like this. And as you see, it looks like you could just take it right off. Or you can take a knife and poke it right here and watch the juices run clear and it's definitely ready. Did you know a chicken once had its head cut off and survived headless for over 18 months? <laughs>